So now what I'm going to do, guys, is move on to putting the contents of these folders into my Minecraft.jar because that is the whole idea. To modify your game, you need to put the class files and overwrite the original ones, uh, which changes stuff. But first of all, we need to go to our user, our home, click library, application support, and here you will see a single folder called Minecraft. I have more because I've modeled my game before. If you have modeled your game before, you may have more. Now, the, game, the version that Minecraft runs is the one that says Minecraft, simply. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is if you have an old one, you can either delete it if you don't want to play on that one anymore. If it's just normal Minecraft, you can delete it. Make sure you don't delete your world so. Or you can rename it so that Minecraft won't run that version. It can't run it unless it simply says Minecraft. So if there's not one it can run, it will create a new one, a new fresh one, which we can then mod from scratch. Because you don't want to mod something that you've been using for a few weeks that might be something different than what a fresh Minecraft folder would be. So just so nothing goes wrong, we're going to use a fresh Minecraft folder by renaming the old one or deleting the old one. Oh my bad. So now there's nothing there. So now we just up here a bit. When I open Minecraft, did you see that? It was quick. <laughs> A new file folder has been created called Minecraft. And once Minecraft opens up, any second now, hopefully, it will start to download the packages, which are the files that let Minecraft run. Once you first log in, it will start to download them. Yeah, now it's going to start updating Minecraft, downloading the packages I need to let Minecraft run. So that's going to fill up that folder, and then we will be able to start working with Minecraft and adding the mods to our game. Okay, I am back now. As you can see, Minecraft has finished, has finished downloading all the packages it needs to run, and I can now quit from Minecraft. All we needed to do was update it. We don't need anything more from it for now. So the next step is adding the mods to our game. We do this, I find the best way to do this is through a program called Terminal, which allows you to put code in, commands, put you, it allows you to put commands in, which do stuff on the computer so you don't have to. Uh, Terminal, I think, comes built in with all Macs. If you just go to your spotlight and type in term, it should come up. If it's not, then you'll need to download it from a third party source, and I will give a link for that in the description over here. I have two codes. We're going to take code 1, copying from C, down to jar, with no spaces, click command, C, click in here, you're going to press return to get a fresh command line, and then command and V. As you will see, a folder has been created in our user home called MCTMP, which is what this code is telling it to do. And it's also telling it to fill it with everything from our Minecraft.jar folder, so we don't have to. It will simply be here for us to add and take away to, and then once we're done, we can close it again with another command. So, one important thing to note though, if I go in here, you'll see that the folder is empty. A lot, I see this a lot of the time in other model views that tell you to use codes as well. They do not specify that after adding a code into a command into terminal to activate that command you need to press return as we'll see there was a delay because it was carrying out the command but now if we look back this is full of files all of the things which minecraft runs on so now we can start adding things all we need at the moment is our finder window we're going to want to go to desktop Go into your AFA and the first thing you're going to add is mod loader. If we open this folder up, hit command A, which selects everything in a file. If you don't want to do that, you can also sorry, you can also click here and drag down, which selects everything as well. And we're going to hit command C and go back to MCTMP, command V, 
apply to all and replace. We want to replace everything. Because that's what the mods are doing, they're adding stuff. Now we go to Aether again and take the next one which is going to be Audio Mod. Now we want to copy from here ahm.class and ibxm.class. Go into mctmp, paste them and replace. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated, I'm not sure if you could call it complicated, but we don't copy this whole folder because there is already, or there is already a folder in the mctmp called pause code and we don't want to overwrite that. On Macs you don't have the option to merge things, well at least on, not on the version I'm running, you don't have the option to merge folders with the same name. You can only replace and overwrite. So we need to go in here to find this single class file. Now we're going to go back to mctmp, find pause code, the folder, same as what we just saw, sound, and codex. So if you paste that other folder, you would over it and everything else, and you don't want to do that. So now we're going back to AFA. The next one I would recommend to do is mod loader MP. Copy all of these and paste them in. Now, one thing to note, you do want to make sure that when you are copying files, you are only taking folders and dot class files, which are the only ones you should be using. You can see if there are any, it's like, because sometimes mods creators add text files and stuff mixed in with the class files um, so you add them instead and you don't want to do that so an easy way to see whether there are any text files mixed in with the class files is sort by kind the text files will appear at the bottom and the class files will appear at the top so I'm going to keep that on sort by kind now the next one I'm going to do is called player API you will see here that there are text files so we can go by kind and then hold command and select only the class files so we now have all them go to mctmp and paste replace uh, I'm just hitting back here and now the next one is shocker API go to the bin which is telling you this these things should go in your bin uh, these are all class files command A, command C back to mctmp and you get the idea there was a lot of repetition when copying things over to your minecraft.jar it's just copying class files and you won't soon get the hang of it now go to AFA mod and the first one going to handle is resources so because the AFA mod adds things like animals and weapons and other things that make new noises to the game you need to add these sounds to a different folder, not your minecraft.jar. So we're going to copy this folder called mod, then we're going to go to our user, library, application support, and then into our minecraft folder where you will see another folder called resources, the same as the one that was in the A for mod folder. Now here we're going to paste the mod folder, which has all the sounds for this mod. As you can see there, the names and all different stuff. Yeah. So there are a lot of folders for a lot of different sounds. So there are the resources, that's it. Now all we have left are the afer.class files that go in the jar, as I just said there. So we're going to sort by kind here, because there are some folders that need to be added. If you copy afer, forge and net folders along, yeah, no, just afer, forge and net for now, copy them, go to your user mctmp, paste and replace. Now we go back to AFER and open the jar again and then go into armor. We don't want to copy this folder called armor because there is already a folder called armor in the MCTMP because obviously you have things like diamond armor in the normal game. We want to add them unless you want to overwrite all the normal armor. Um, you don't want to copy the whole folder. So that is all these folders done. All that's left now is just these class files. I'm going to hit command and A and then hold command while I'm clicking on these folders to deselect them because we've already copied them over. Copy the class files into mctmp. I think there's around 1200 of them. Apply to all. Replace. And in a little while it will replace, it will add all of them 
because the A4 mod is such a game changing um, mod. There is so much it needs to add to your Minecraft.jar. So we've now added all of the dot class files, the folders from all of these six mods. And that is us done with editing our Minecraft.jar. However, we do not want to leave this open. Um, we want to close the MCTMP, and there is also another thing we need to do. In here, excuse me, um, you will see a folder called MetaInf, and there are two things you need to delete from here to be able to let your game run mods. If you do not delete them, um, then you won't be able to play it, you'll get a black screen, and there's a common mistake among people, although people are recognizing it more often now. So the second code we're going to use will close the MCTMP folder, but it will also delete the things needed to be deleted from MetaInf. Like I said, it does things so you don't need to, so you can't make mistakes, as long as the code is correct, which I assure you it is, and I'll leave it in the description for you to use along with a step-by-step -step guide. So now we're going to paste the code to in here, Command V. You will see there is the delay between the first part and the second part because it is actually carrying out the commands, deleting something it takes a little while. And now we're going to remember to press return, which activates that command for removing MCTMP, and as you see it disappeared. So we are now done with these two codes. We can hit command and Q to close quick stickies, which was just for me really, and now terminal as well. I'm going to remove the label from this, it's not important to me anymore. I have put everything into my um, I put everything into my jar that I need to. My game is now modded. So I'm going to show you that it's actually working. <laughs> Fingers crossed it is, I've done this earlier and as long as I have done all the steps correctly, which I'm pretty confident I have, it will be working now and I will have the Aether mod on my computer on my Minecraft game. So let's just wait for Minecraft to start up here and then I will log in and I'll see you there. So the mod has been installed correctly. You will see I have these different um, tabs here. They're not the usual ones, you've got the A for title. So everything I've shown you in this video is correct and if you follow it you'll be fine. You'll have the A for mod on your computer for you to play with and you should have a load of fun with it because I am... Um, certainly going to. I'll have a let's play out for this in the coming days. Thank you for watching guys. If this has helped you please leave a like and goodbye.